Recorded live at PRS View Studios in Chicago, this is your Plastic Surgery Minute. I'm with Dr. Hani Spitani. Hani, can you tell me about prepectoral breast reconstruction? Yeah, so prepectoral breast reconstruction is essentially a type of breast reconstruction that many of us are performing now using breast implants but instead of placing the implants in the more traditional location underneath the pectoralis muscle, we've reverted, reverted back to some of the newer, the, the original techniques for breast reconstruction, which involve placing implants uh, above the pectoralis muscle. And in this fashion, have been able to make it a more muscle sparing and less invasive technique for breast reconstruction. Uh, it was actually a technique that was originally tried in the early 70s when breast reconstruction was popularized and was soon thereafter abandoned because of certain issues with capsular contracture and implant exposure uh, when implants were placed directly under the skin. Uh, but in recent years, as you know, there's been a lot of technological advancements in breast reconstruction, whether it's biologic meshes that we can now use to cover implants or fat grafting, using fat from other part of a patient's body and injecting it, injecting it into the breast skin, better breast implants, and a lot of these new technologies have allowed us to revert back to some of the types of breast reconstruction that involve reconstructing the entire breast above the pectoralis muscle, and really just making it a less invasive, less painful uh, process for a lot of our patients. That's great. Yeah. Now, if I've already had breast reconstruction, am I still a candidate for prepectoral uh, pre breast reconstruction? Absolutely, absolutely. And so I see a lot of patients now with a history who are any number of years out from a submuscular or subpectoral breast reconstruction procedure and have completed their treatment. And they often will come to me and say, you know, I have an under the muscle breast reconstruction and I have certain lingering issues, whether it's soreness, or some amount of strength deficit with physical activity, or an entity we call animation deformity, which is where the, the muscle overlying the breast implant, every time it contracts, pulls the skin envelope with it and results in a visible uh, kind of aesthetic deformity. And these patients will come to me and inquire about correction or re returning their pectoralis muscle to its original anatomic location and, uh, and is essentially experiencing an, a new implant reconstruction in the prepectoral position. And we can absolutely do this. And it's, it's not uncommon for me now to take women to the operating room, uh, remove their implants, put their pec muscle, their pectoralis major muscle back on the chest wall in its original anatomic location and reconstruct their breast in a new prepectoral position with a new breast implant. And it's surprisingly become one of the most common procedures I perform in my reconstructive practice. Uh, it's gained a lot of popularity where I practice in the San Francisco Bay Area and in a number of other areas around the country. And the New York Times was interested enough to even publish an article on this technique last week. Uh, and it's one I think that's become much, much more common in terms of patient awareness and really patient satisfaction. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thank you for watching Plastic Surgery Minutes. We are live at PSTM 18 in Chicago. Please look us up, PRS Journal, and look at our YouTube video selection.